What's up guys, my name is ESO and welcome to my channel. In this part 2 video I will be showing you how to become a master assassin. If you missed the original part 1 video, I will leave a link to that in the description. Now some of you watched my last video and you commented on it saying that you could not assassinate people outside. After hearing this mentioned several times, I literally cried went home and attempted to seek counselling with my cat because I did not want to live on this planet anymore. Somebody even wrote me a letter. Let me read it out to you. Dear ESO, there is this goddamn cow in my goddamn settlement that is just a waste of oxygen. It constantly gets in the way when I'm building stuff and it just looks like the plague. So because I have to spell everything out to you, I have once again made a video about it. The first thing we must do is capture the cow. I know what you're thinking. ESO, why don't you just kill it? Well firstly, are you actually stupid? We are in the Commonwealth. The Commonwealth is basically the USA version of India mate. In India, cows are sacred. Seriously, just take a moment to educate yourself. Look at this cow. His name is Larry. Larry the cow. Larry is so famous that a stadium was literally built around him and people wear hats in his honour. He has a whole city of slaves that are dedicated to making food and water to look after him. He even has his own army of armed guards. This guy even has his own secretary. And secondly, one does not simply kill a cow. So, back to the point, we must first capture the cow. I suggest building an 80 foot wall around it, preferably out of concrete. Nothing can get through that. If you don't have enough materials, I suggest breaking down all of your weapons and armour, the more valuable the better. After you have constructed your tower of fucking magic super awesome chocolate covered castle, just get some melons. You will need approximately 500 melons. Now if you're an absolute fuckwit and forgot to build a staircase up to your magic awesome super awesome chocolate covered castle, then either build one down or if you're like me and you ran out of goddamn wood, then simply jump off and cap yourself and then build it again. But this time, remember to take those damn melons with you. Now if you don't know where to get 500 melons, I suggest you watch my video on how to farm. That video shows you how to farm like an absolute boss. Like you can farm tons of glue and just sniff it all day and then make some videos like this one. Anyway, after you're done, cart your 50,000 million melons to the top of the tower. <laughs> and then, realise that that sneaky fucker of a cow has escaped your pen of magic super awesome chocolate covered castle because you left a gap in it. Now kill all of your settlers for not telling you about that damn gap. and then construct a whole new magic super awesome chocolate covered castle around wherever the cow moved. So if you have made it this far in the video, I'd like to congratulate you. You have built three giant pens of doom and culled your whole settlement out of frustration.
I can't even remember why I made this video. Oh yes, simply take all of your melons and with the force of 1000 suns, hurl them into the river. You have solved the wasteland's food shortage in a few seconds. Pat yourself on the back and congratulate Dogmeat for being a dog and therefore being infinitely better than the inferior cat. Shit. Grow 500 more melons, take them to the top of your of one of your towers, of whichever tower the goddamn cow was in, and now throw them all in. One by one. It's very, very, very important that you only throw them in one by one. If you put in too many at once, people may accuse you of attempting to assassinate the cow. I tried asking Godmeat for some help, but he's just high on glue, the cheeky fucker. Instead, simply ask the cat god for some help. Claim you have built her three temples in her honour. Don't cheat, if you only build two, she will simply smite you, like the pitiful peasant you are. If you have indeed built three, she will throw a butt ton of melons into the fort. I, can't. I have too much to do. Get fucked, mutant cow. Disclaimer, please note that throwing watermelons into a river is not a sure way of ending world hunger. If you have not already, I highly suggest educating yourself further in how to master other aspects of Fallout 4. I will leave a link in the description to my highly informative playlist. Once there, you can find many videos that will offend you and make you wish that you did not live on this planet anymore. Remember, that if you don't click on said link, I will ride a camel to Narnia on a vicious crusade for reasons I will explain in my next video. Ha! Goodbye, and thank you for watching.